Well, I'm just leaving Zach's saw shop. I had a um, pole saw that had a broken drive shaft. It was an old school pole saw, and I love this old pole saw, extended pole saw. So I'm so happy to get it back because I use that more than the brand new one I just bought. There's something about the old school ones; they just they feel better in your hand. They're just they they work better. Um, I, I prefer the older school steel products. The newer stuff is nice, but it's chintzy. It just, I don't know, it doesn't hold up quite as well. So, um, and I got a chance to, um, Zach wasn't in, he's retired. He's like 86 and his wife's like um, 65 or something. But um, luckily she came back in and I was able to talk to her and I asked her if it was possible if Zach ever had a chance, I'd love to go talk to him because this guy, he's he's ran this saw business for 100 years. <laughs> when I first moved to Jacksonville, like 30 years ago, I had a landscape company and he helped me out with my lands. When I had an old mower that blew the motor, old Brig and Stratton, he had the guy already on the line, hey, this looks like a manufacturer issue. He put a, they put a brand new Briggs & Stratton motor on my little uh, lawn tractor. And I used that for years and ended up selling it, but it was a good little tractor. And ever since then, man, we've been best, just, he just done, always been right with me. And I've always went on my way to be right with him. And uh, it's it was so nice to have, to go up there and, and get your parts and everything in one stop. And I drive out a little bit out of my way, about 10 or 20 miles, about 10 miles to go, go, go all get all my parts from, from Zach's because he had always tried to make it right with me. But anyway, um, his wife said that when he gets a chance, he's going to give me a call. And we're going to sit out on the porch with some lemonade or some tea, Arnold Palmer, and we're going to talk about and hopefully get a video of him and how he started and, and what he's done in, through his life to be a successful business owner because he owns the saw shop and he owns that whole strip and he rents it, all that stuff out. So he definitely made some good decisions when he was younger and he was able to retire finally. He still comes in every once in a while. His wife still comes in, but um, I miss Zach. <laughs> I miss old Zach, man. He's a good old boy. Anyway, I'm heading back to the shop, got my estimates done, and um, I'm not going to have time to do any tree work. It's already 3 o'clock, but I got my oil, I got my grease, I got my pole saw, I got my mix, so we are stocked up and ready to go. I got a couple um, Pico bars and chains. I should have held them up. Uh, the Pico bar 16-inch uh, bars and chains, I got two brand new ones. Um, also, too, they started uh, selling the 200T knockoff on Amazon again. So, Phil wants to order one. I might order one and uh, try them out. Because if I can get a 200T knockoff, which I used to love, um, I used to run 200Ts for years. If I can get the same saw that runs about the same for 300 bucks compared to like the, I just bought a, 201 TC and it was like 700 and it's too heavy so I'd, I'd much rather have the older version of the 200 T because man I, I've, I've ran through five to eight of those saws I burn them up I used to cut the whole tree down with those saws and if I can find one or two more brand new in the box that I can run for another couple years I would be I would be ecstatic because those saws are just that they, they they made the perfect top handle saw and they discontinued it and they stopped making it. Um, I felt the same way about the 250 and it was a good little saw, a $300 saw that would run and it was good for like doing the small groundwork, but they changed something in there and I bought about five of them and none of them would run hardly. They run good first time you start them up. As soon as you turn them off, you could not get them running again. 
So I don't know what the chip or what's going on with those, but they ruined a great saw. The 250 and the 200T, and I was running, uh, of course, the the pole, the short pole saw, the long extended pole saw, and then I would just have maybe a, a medium a medium range saw, and that was it. That was the whole kit and caboodle, man. And then I I switched over from Husky. I ran Husky for a while which I still like Husky, but um, I just want a good saw that will go out, start up, and run and work for me. I mean, all our saws are kept in a truck. They're never hardly outside, or they're hung up in inside. They're climate controlled. I mean, um, well taken care of. Um, we never leave them in the rain. They're never in the back of a pickup truck. Um, we run them um, almost, you know, almost daily during the season. I even go out there and fire them up um, when I can. Um, but uh, yeah, there's no reason why our saws should not run great. I mean, we clean them out. Um, we don't run the, we don't run them to death like we used to and all my saws are newer. So it's kind of frustrating um, when you get newer saws and then they just, they don't perform, you know, like back for, when I first started, man, it, <laughs> all my saws ran awesome. And I, a lot of times were used or I'd, I'd buy Huskies from, uh, from um, uh, not Home Depot, but uh, Lowe's. I bought a bunch of 450 Ranchers from Lowe's and they always ran great. I bought a couple used uh, 394 uh, XP, 395. Um, and what else did I have? I had a 385 uh, XP. I ran them for years and they, they still fire up today. I still have a couple hanging in the shop, but they're just um, all the all the pulling mechanism is stripped out just from all those years of starting and starting and starting. But the engines and stuff still run great. And they're, you know, 20 year old saws plus, maybe 25 and uh, still run. I mean, they're not worth much, um, and they're more nostalgic than anything, so I just keep them hanging in the shop, but uh, when we make our podcast room, I'm going to probably bring a couple of them out. They still drip oil, though, and stuff. I might have to clean them up and uh, maybe take some alcohol and uh, brake cleaner and clean them all up and just leave them hanging for, you know, our podcast room or something, but <clears throat> anyway, um, everything... It's looking good. I'm feeling good. Gaining my weight back. I'm healthy appetite. Um, I had some pizza last night from Five Star. So I am like ready to get back on the uh, truck and start start cutting and start making it happen. Those two weeks were killing me. But anyway, <clears throat> heading back to the shop. And I got everything I need. I got a few more runs here and there, but it's too late to cut any trees down. So I'm just gonna try to get as organized as possible. Um, we still have one job that uh, is pen. Well, it's not pending. It's um, uh, we have a job we're supposed to do, and I, I've just been putting it off. And the Quigley House, I was I was sick. And then we had more work than we could handle. And so we're gonna have to fit Quigley House in here in the next week or two and knock them out. Cause they're the only people that um, I haven't completed all the jobs. Every single thing, everything's done except for Quigley House. And we got about a day or two over there. Got some palm tree trimming, got some uh, little edging, uh, pulling up some uh, bushes and grinding a few things. So. Um, that's the only thing left on my plate that I have not completed so looking forward to getting that off the plate it's been lingering um, they've been very patient so um, we can contact them this week and see if we can get that stuff handled for them but other than that everything looks good um, weather's awesome it's not hot anymore it's not too cold it's supposed to be like 70 three degrees all week long so this is a perfect day to get out perfect week to get out and get some stuff done um 
probably tomorrow. I'll, we're trying to catch up on our firewood. Um, Josh is at the shop and he uh, he's been um, cutting everything up and being being awesome. So he's feeling good. I'm feeling good. Tom's going to come over later, maybe in the week, and we're going to have a saw contest. And then Phil wants to come over and check out the new saws that we got and uh, put them to the test and see. Uh, we'll do an interview hopefully after they use them because Phil's real familiar with steel. So he'll know and he'll be able to tell us what he thinks of the knockoff steel 661 and the knockoff 880. So, because he just bought a brand new 661, he's ran 880s. So, um, I'm, and he want, he's, he told me to buy him a top handle 201T. So, I'm going to get some money from him, get a top handle because I don't really need one. I just want one because the 200T was the best top handle saw money could buy. And uh, I'm just, I, I want to get one, try it out. And then if I like his, I'm gonna buy one, and who knows, I might buy a couple, but um, hopefully they still are producing them and we can still get as many as we want, because I'd like to get one or two just just to have, because you never know, they might discontinue them, because they're, they're selling half price of what everything else is selling for. So anyway, going back to the shop, dropping off the equipment, we have a few errands to run, and then uh, swing by my mom's house, she's gonna, She's feeling good. I'm feeling good. She's eating well. She was sick for a couple days and uh, just organized a little. I got one. I've completely organized everything. I've, I've donated. I'm getting rid of all my stuff I don't need. I have nothing in my condo that is doesn't want, need to be used on a daily. Um, so last thing we have left is... Uh, getting rid of a couple plants that I they're in my way and then um, maybe later on we'll start tackling the shop uh, the shop needs a little finesse it's uh, been neglected a little bit so we're gonna have to go through I've got um, a couple a chip truck to sell I've got another chip truck to part out um, I've got um, some extra parts and tires and stuff that I'm not using um, that I'm going to sell or Josh is going to help me sell just need to go through and do the same thing with our shop go through if we're not using it sell it if we can't sell it donate it if we can't donate it trash it because I don't want anything in there that it hadn't been used for a couple years and we can't sell it, it has no value it's it's going by the wayside so um, hopefully we'll be able to next couple weeks go through the shop and get that thing nailed down so anyway guys thanks for watching um stay tuned we got some good videos coming up um we got some interviews coming up we've got some uh, uh saws reviews from different people that no no chainsaws we're gonna have a, a saw down we're gonna have a couple couple saws and film each one of them competing against each other and see if these knockoff saws are gonna hold up to the to the real deal so anyway guys thanks for watching um th sorry for talking too long but um we will see you soon and we'll have some good video footage for you god bless take care happy holidays